Hey everybody, Melon here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at a product that I was not really expecting to take a look at. It's something that kind of caught me off guard because I've known this company for a long time, but I didn't really know that they were doing this, which is kind of exciting for me. Uh, we are talking about the X-Ray Cato Wing Grips. Now, X-Ray has been uh, pretty much a legendary mouse pad creator for many years now. They have a very high reputation for insanely good quality pads. And to be fair, that's very accurate. I still have my old Aqua Control Press that I got, at, I think in 2019. And that mouse pad is still going strong to this day. So X-Ray definitely has a bit of a legacy of having very high quality products but now they are branching into mouse skates and mice grip tape which is something i was very very interested in that's why i'm very excited today to take a look at their cicada wing grips now quick little disclaimer x-ray did send this product out for review so thank you very much for sending this out if you are interested in taking a look at the product i will have the product link down in the description and as always i will have timestamps that pinned down in the description and the comments as well for you now let's start off with pricing so pricing is going to be around 13.99 usd so pretty in line with most other grip tapes you can find they have kits for the Razer Viper Ultimate, the Final Mel Starlight 12, the Logitech G Pro and G Pro Wireless, and a 34-piece DIY Universal Kit, which you can use for mice and keyboards. Today, we'll be taking a look at that Universal Kit. Now, there are other models coming soon, and X-Ray said they're going to be keeping an eye out on social media and on YouTube comments and that kind of stuff on reviews for other models they would like to see them on. So if you would like to see this grip tape for a specific mice model, be sure to let them know. I would like to see X-Ray potentially offer a DIY sheet option in the future. I know there are some people who like to do custom shapes and that kind of stuff having an option to buy a custom sheet would be a nice thing to feature to see all right so let's go over what makes these cicada wing grips so special so the biggest thing is going to be the material they're made out of where traditional mouse kits are generally made out of just rubber and other kinds of adhesive cicada wing grips are actually made out of poron now for those of you who have been keeping eye on the mouse pad market you will see poron kind of being a name that's starting to pop up a little more as of late it is a very sticky rubber material that is commonly found in mouse pad bases on a lot of upcoming mouse pads to make the base sticky onto the pad so it doesn't shift around too much but x-ray decided hey we're going to make grip tape out of it. So, hey, that be might as well. So it is made out of poron. It does have 3M adhesive. It is only 0.22 millimeters thick, which is crazy. It is actually the same thickness of two pieces of M4 paper. So it is very, very thin. It has anti-slip. It is sweat resistant. It has a very sticky feeling, as I mentioned before. It's what it traditionally found in the base of mouse pads. You will see the same thing here, where it has a very sticky feeling to the hand. It is reusable for two applications. I will say, actually, I've been able to reuse it more than that, but your results may vary. And of course, the universal kits, as I mentioned before, is also used on keyboards as well which is a nice little touch now the unboxing experience of the packaging is very simple it comes in just kind of like a paper envelope here it does come with the wraps inside of a plastic bag it does come with two sets of adhesive removal wipes and two sets of alcohol wipes now one thing i would like to see x-ray potentially change here is that the grips because they are so sticky they can actually be quite difficult to get out of the bag i know i took me probably like two minutes to get them out of the bag the first time because they stick to the actual plastic bag i would like to see them maybe put like a just a sheet of wax paper over this to make it easy to remove them from the bag so don't get damaged but Aside from that, the packaging and the overall unboxing experience is quite nice. Now, of course, before you install them, be sure to use the included wipes. They are taking off old grips. Be sure to use the adhesive removal wipes and then the alcohol wipes. If you're just installing them fresh onto a new mouse, just use the alcohol wipes to make sure the surface is clean before you apply them on. Now, for testing, I tested these on two mice. I tested these on my Razer Cobra and I tested them on my Keychron M3. The Razer Cobra was my gaming mouse at the time and the Keychron M3 is my day-to-day -day work mouse. Now, the texture on, on these grips is actually quite nice. It is kind of reminiscent of what you'd see on an insect wing. Uh, it is, does look quite nice the grip is kind of gummy again this kind of pour on stickiness does kind of have like a gummy feel to it even though it is so thin it does offer a lot of grip like a lot of grip you can see here i could literally pick up my razor cobra and my keychron m3 with two fingers with no problem it is so grippy and it actually stays grippy over time again i've had these for about two three weeks now and they haven't lost stickiness at all which is very impressive one other nice little thing is they don't actually leave any residue on your fingers i know some other grips are really sticky ones i can kind of leave a bit of a residue on your fingers i have haven't had any residue left on my fingers at all during use, which is quite surprising as well. Of course, as I mentioned before, these grips have stayed incredibly grippy over time. Again, no, going on two, three weeks of testing and on my work mouse, which I'm using the most, obviously my Razer Cobra, there is no difference between the grip of the two of them. I've had them just sitting on my desk. They haven't dried out at all. They have stayed incredibly sticky, which is a really surprising thing. Cause again, a lot of other grip tapes generally lose their stickiness over time, but these have actually held up very, very well. But I almost forgot to mention, I will say also that the grip is also incredibly consistent between wet and dry hands as a lot of you will know i do have moister sweatier hands and even during long gameplay sessions when my hand does start to sweat a little bit the grip is almost identical to how it was if i have dry hands so unlike some grips where they'll be good for dry hands and bad for wet hands the grip is consistent across both here which is another really really nice thing to see this pour on material is huge game changer when it comes to grips now just for comparison i wanted to kind of show you some of the other grips i've used in the past so i have the btl grips here and i have my core pad grips and of course I have my soul spacers now the soul spacers are kind of a different thing here because i think 
see them more as mouse anchors more than mouse grips. So I'm not really going to kind of directly compare them to the X-ray pad grips because it's not really the same thing in my opinion. But I will say as compared to the BTL grips and the core pads grips, the X-ray pads blow them out of the water. The feeling, the stickiness, just overall the feeling of them is just so much better and they're so much more consistent. I know especially on the BTL grips here that I have on my Vaxi outside AX, they did actually get quite slippy over time and it's even during like long gameplay sessions and sweatier hands they did get quite slippery. Same thing with the core pads as well that I had on my Death Adder V3 and a couple other mice. Exactly the same problem. They just got kind of loose and sweaty over time and you couldn't really grip them that well. Whereas the extra grips have stayed incredibly consistent under pretty much every condition, which is really, really impressive. Oh, before I forget, I also wanted to talk about the universal kit here. So the universal kit does come with these other pieces that are actually usable on keyboards. These I found were really, really nice because I have a bit of an older keyboard and my keycaps have gotten a little slippery over time, no matter how much I clean them, it just kind of faded out a little bit. And having these on the keyboard for extra grip is actually a really nice touch here. And again, if people who do kind of do like these weird tilted grips on their keyboards as well, these can be really helpful for keeping a consistent grip and making sure your fingers don't slip too much. So for keyboard applications, the universal kit is also a really nice touch as well. And it does have a lot of variety in how you can use it. Now, in terms of final thoughts, I will say I'm really, really, really impressed by these. Again, X-rays had this legendary kind of legacy of having these really high quality mouse pads and seeing them move into the mouse gate and mouse grip market is really cool. And seeing that same legendary build quality we find on their mouse pads carried over to their mouse grips is a really, really cool thing to see. Now, I will say I actually really, really do enjoy these. And now I will say I still kind of keep them tied with the soul spacers. I actually found that using these grips and the soul spacers together were kind of like the ideal combo. I will say in terms of the soul spacers, I still think they are kind of a different, while they are still mouse grips, I still think they are kind of a different category. I will say in terms of grip tape only, these is easily the best grip tape I think I've ever used in my time as a peripheral viewer, 100%. Are they as good as the soul spacer grips? I will say yes, for sure. Do I prefer the soul spacer grips over this? I will say I do just because with my grip style, I prefer the more anchor point kind of feel as opposed to the natural grip tape just due to the ergonomic advantages. Speaking as someone who does suffer from pretty bad tensioning issues with my hands, the anchor points just do provide a little more ergonomic relief as opposed to standard grip tape. And of course, while the extra grips are very sticky and don't require nearly as much pressure to move the mouse around as to other grip tapes, I still just do prefer the more anchor grip style. That said though, they are still an incredibly good product. I highly, highly recommend them. I will definitely be using them in tandem with the uh, soul spacer grips going forward because I really do like them and overall they feel really good. Specifically for my keyboard, I really do like them on that. Thank you very much again to X-Ray for sending these out and these will be receiving the melon seed of approval as well. These are really, really solid grips. I highly recommend them. And again, if you want to check them out, I'll have the link to their website down below. You can go ahead and pick them up and check them out if you're interested. Thank you again for watching. I greatly appreciate it and I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.